Harris. She's the worst ever. She will destroy our country. Turned it into the worst border nightmare in the history of the world. Bringing in millions and millions of illegal aliens at levels never seen before. With just three months until the election, House Republicans have shifted their investigative focus to a new target, Vice President Kamala Harris. As the Democratic nominee, Harris is now in the crosshairs of the GOP, facing scrutiny over her role in handling the southern border crisis. But why the sudden pivot, and what are the implications? Since taking power in 2023, House Republicans have been laser-focused on President Biden and his family. Their goal? To uncover evidence of wrongdoing that could damage Biden's re-election bid. For nearly two years, their efforts culminated in a yet-to-be-released impeachment inquiry report. But with Biden no longer in the race, their strategy has shifted, and Harris is now the primary target. House Republicans, led by Rep. James Comer, have announced a new investigation into Harris, focusing on her role in addressing the immigration surge at the southern border. Harris was tasked by President Biden to look into the root causes of migration, not border enforcement. Despite this, Republicans have labeled her a failed border czar, claiming she has not addressed what they call the worst border crisis in American history. As per James Comer and I quote, it is unclear what actions, if any, Vice President Harris has taken to fix the border crisis. Now let's examine the record of border czar Harris. She inherited the strongest border in U.S. history and immediately turned it into the worst border nightmare in the history of the world. There's no country in the world that's ever had a border like this. I think the real number is 20 million people, maybe more. Nobody knows. You know, you have a thing called gotaways. We have millions of gotaways, meaning people that weren't caught, they got away. Upon taking office, Harris and Biden stopped wall construction, halted all deportations, protected sanctuary cities, ended remain in Mexico and our asylum cooperation agreements, which are very important, and allowed a gigantic invasion of our country, bringing in millions and millions of illegal aliens at levels never seen before. Now, actually, other than that, I thought she's just doing a very good job, right? She's done a wonderful job. She's the worst ever. And she's going to be your president. You'll, she will destroy our country. This investigation isn't just about border policy. It's a calculated political move. You see, as per a recent poll by Ipsos, Kamala Harris is leading the polls by 42% against Donald Trump, who stands at 37% in the race for the November 5th U.S. presidential election. In a separate poll, Ipsos found Harris leading Trump 42% to 40% in the seven states where the election was closest in 2020. These states include Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. With the election just around the corner. Republicans are scrambling to close the strategic gap they inadvertently left by not focusing on Harris earlier. However, time is running out. Congress is on recess until September, and the election is less than 90 days away. In late July, the House passed a symbolic resolution condemning Harris for the administration's handling of the border. Interestingly, this measure even saw support from six Democrats, highlighting the political tightrope both parties are walking as the election nears. As Republicans ramp up their investigation into Harris, questions arise about the broader implications. What exactly are they hoping to find? Will this investigation yield any new facts, or is it simply a last-minute effort to sway voters? So far, they've unearthed little that could benefit the Trump campaign directly. Meanwhile, the long-awaited impeachment inquiry report on Biden remains in limbo, with Speaker Mike Johnson holding the reins on when, or if, it will be released. Some Republicans fear that releasing it now could backfire, particularly for those in swing districts. As the clock ticks down to Election Day, the focus on Harris will only intensify. Whether this investigation is a genuine pursuit of accountability or a last-ditch political maneuver remains to be seen. But one thing is certain, the stakes couldn't be higher for Kamala Harris and the GOP alike.